As part of our latest podcast series to gather insights from executives across the International Islamic Trade Finance Corporation, we're pleased to be joined today by Abdul Aleem, Head of Asia and Middle East ITFC, who's here to tell us more about the COVID-19 emergency financing support to Egypt. Abdul, what impact has ITFC's emergency financing for Egypt had on the country's food security? Egypt imports around more than 50% of its consumption of wheat through imports, which averages around 6 million tons of wheat. So this ITFC's financing uh, for Egypt has positively impacted the food security situation in Egypt, as the financing was specifically targeted for importation of basic commodities, in this case wheat and sugar, which are two staple items for the mass population of Egypt. The financing has fulfilled the needs of Egypt for strategic food commodities during the COVID-19 crisis by securing around 15% of wheat imports for 2020. And this has helped in elevating any food security concerns in the country by maintaining sufficient level of stock in the country. For sugar, ITFC's financing achieved uh, by helping Egypt reach its uh, stability on sugar prices within the Egyptian market, along with the local production of sugar. Thank you, Abdul. And what impact has this emergency financing had on the nation's short and medium term economic prospects? On the short term, the financing has helped the country's food security and foreign currency pressures. It has also helped the government focus its resources and efforts on other fronts in dealing with the pandemic, such as allocating resources for essential life-saving goods and preparing the economy on a recovery path. In the medium term, this financing, which includes resource mobilization from the syndication market, will further aid and support Egypt's credit profile in the debt market and encourage more financing and FDI into the country. Well, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Abdul for joining us today.